Since the beginning of human history, mankind has continually sought to travel beyond its limits, starting in Africa and spreading all over the globe. Inspired by this tenacity, we decided to retrace one of the longest routes of human migration using vehicles with autonomous car technology. Think about the possibilities of autonomous car technology. It's a key innovation for the automotive industry, but this exciting technology is currently used to address practical issues like congestion, parking and safety. What we are missing is the dream. What if this technology was used to further human enjoyment and exploration? What kind of autonomous vehicle would this make possible? When we started the project, we thought we were obviously tracing this route from Africa to South America. We initially thought that we could tackle this journey in one vehicle, which somehow transformed and morphed to match the landscape. But it became clear that the terrain on this journey was so varied that we needed multiple vehicles. Inspired by Honda's technology and Honda's DNA, we actually created seven different vehicles. Um, one vehicle for each of seven segments of the journey. And each vehicle also has two modes, so there's obviously the travelling mode during the day, and then at night time the vehicles need to transform for comfortable um, relaxing and sleeping. Our work is a lot about making technology tangible and we use a lot of physical model making and prototyping to help us understand how things behave in the real world and we applied that process to the vehicle so uh, the development was as much through physical prototyping and model making as it was through sketching and computer work. And then the final vehicles, the final designs were made as intricate scale models and we went further than that, we actually created environments into which we could place those models so we could finally see them and realise the dream of those vehicles passing through the environments. The journey starts in Nairobi and the first leg of the journey takes us from Nairobi to Khartoum. For this leg of the journey we designed a vehicle called the Safari Drifter. The vehicle itself combines the comfort of a motorhome with the robustness of a safari truck and it's a kind of a modern update of a camper van inspired by the design notes from Honda's Vamos utility vehicle. The interesting thing to do in the savannah is to track animals. So the vehicle has robotic lawnmowers which cut their way through the long grass and also track movement to help you locate animals. After a day watching animals, you can sit in the canopy up on the top of the vehicle and a helium balloon raises you up into the sky to appreciate the amazing view. The next step of the journey takes us from Khartoum to Karachi. This landscape is predominantly desert, so we designed a vehicle called the Desert Train, which is inspired by a traditional camel train, has its functions separated into four different segments. The interesting thing about this vehicle is the drivetrain is powered by Honda's fuel cell technology. The only emissions from fuel cells are, are water, uh, um, so that water is collected as well to enable you to consume it if needed. I mean, the desert is such a hostile landscape that you have to carry everything with you. So the habitation unit has everything needed for the journey and at night it can expand into something like a Bedouin tent. There's also an amazing sound system so that at night time you can relax and play your music as loud as you like. The next leg of the journey takes us from Karachi to Shenzhen and this vehicle is called the Mountain Climber. The vehicle itself is very robust and it has a steel tube with glass at either end, the tube protecting its occupants, but the glass windows either end providing an amazing view. Most of the journey is traversing the Himalayas where rockfalls are quite frequent. One special feature of this vehicle, inspired by Honda's Asimo technology, are four robotic legs that enable it to lift itself and walk over any rockfalls and also a robotic arm so that it can fix the road as it passes through the landscape. The island hopper takes us from Shenzhen to Kamchatka and this route hops from island to island via Japan heading northwest to Russia. Inspired by Honda's prowess in road vehicles and the marine world, we created an amphibious vehicle that could paddle through the water and also drive up onto islands. 
Its lightweight structure is inspired by Formula One technology and it's entirely solar powered. At night time, you can pull mesh blinds down to give you some privacy while you rest in the hammock or do some night fishing. The next leg of the journey takes us from Kamchatka to Fairbanks across snow and ice. We designed a vehicle called the Tundra Sled. The sled is pulled along by a pack of six powerful electric drones inspired by traditional dog sled. And the drones themselves are based on Honda's Unicub self-balancing technology. They not only pull the sled, but also sense any cracks in the ice. Since there's no light pollution in the Arctic, we've provided a hot tub and a telescope so that you can relax and enjoy the stars at night. The next part of the journey is from Fairbanks down to Mexico City along the west coast of the United States. This vehicle is called the Road Tripper and it has large glass roof panels and a metallic body. You can appreciate the view on either side of the vehicle. And the vehicle itself is based on Honda's gyro steering system and it leans into corners as it drives down the road. We included design reference to Honda's Daytona motorcycle and used some of the graphical language from the 1960s. At night time, you can park up and you can light a barbecue and there's a surfboard attached to the back of the vehicle so you can catch some waves. The final leg of the journey is from Mexico City to Manaus. For this, we designed a vehicle called the Jungle Jumper. This vehicle has two components. It has the truck, which is inspired by Honda's lightweight van, the T360. It has six large rugged wheels, but a lightweight construction that enables it to easily pass through the jungle, crossing rivers and traversing mud. And then a habitation unit, which can be pulled up into the tree canopy so that you have a living space that extends from the forest floor to the treetops. Honda Great Journey captures the potential of autonomous car technology that has not yet been realised. A new vision of human enjoyment through travel has been discovered.